Hello, welcome to another game on Super Auto Pets. Uh, I'm playing the weekly pack, and this week's pack is heavily focused on toys, I think, mostly toys. Uh, and also selling animals, buying and selling. So that's the two main um, strategies, strategies you can work with this week, uh, I think. I got my first first loss here, but it's in the first two games, so it's okay. I get the life back. Uh, added the owl. Because, as I said, selling, buying, and also added the capybara to get some more stats straight off the bat. On the walls and roll. Which leads to my first victory. I mean, as you can see, strategy, getting the mouse, selling it, giving the owl the, the, the apple. Simple as that. Uh, Marmoset soon up to level 3. And the first official loss, I guess you could say. Got another owl and a starfish, and I thought, why not add that one? Because I'm selling the, the, the mouse anyway, so why not add the starfish that gives stats also when I sell it? Besides the stats I get from that. Second victory. And got the stats on exactly the one I wanted. Managed to level it up and got the Manta Ray, which was perfect for, for my tactic. Uh, don't really know if... Oh, I had coins over. I thought I rolled away the, the last ones. Uh, yeah, I rolled to see if I got anything better. Didn't get it. So, uh, yeah, same process. Buying, not buying, selling. Got exactly the, the animals I wanted at the, at the first rolls, at least. And I, I, I mean, I'm managing right now. It's not big defeats, it's not big, big uh, victories, it's just kind of draws, you know. Uh, froze the silver fox because I thought, can I use that one instead of a capybara up front to get even more points? Since I'm not really buying anything to get stats, just trying to keep them level right now. Decides to add the silver fox and give it stats straight away. And some lemon on the metro. Got the owl to level 3. That's a really, really nice upgrade. But the weasel was too strong that round, so down to 3 lives. Decided to level up the starfish, and then I got the behemoth. And I mean, I had to add it. It was exactly what I needed. Say I only had the the, uh, the mouse that gave stats every round, so I wanted something else to give some more stats, and this this one gained stats by itself. Uh, got quite lucky there with the, the spawn. I had nothing to show for behind uh, the first beam. Yeah, you can see the, the thought process here, just rolling, adding animals that give stats and selling them again. You see, I also had some, I mean, two extra gold from a manta ray each round. Another victory, up to six victories. And 
everyone is leveled up. I continue to add the stats to the behemoth up front because I thought it's better to give everything to one this, this week. One that they can't really take down, for example, like this round. And these ones are not bad stat wise either, so. Just rolling for anything, starfish and chocolate. That's actually my first time having a starfish on level 3, uh, I think. Uh, another one with three animals left. Another chocolate, another apple, another behemoth, another manta. And nothing. That's number Manta. Uh, rolling again. So the BMF is looking uh, kinda good now. As you can see. Up to nine victories. Three lives left, so I mean you never know. You can lose from here. I've done it before. But uh, I was getting fairly certain. That this would be a victory. As you can see, I'm, I'm moving these, these ones every round <laughs> because I want them in this order. I want to add the, the one I'm selling to the back at the back, but there's still the mouse is always spawning in the middle, which is a bit annoying. And it's a victory round 15 with three lives left. And yeah, I mean, these three. Laid it up, but the behemoth was the game winning goal, animal, whatever you call it. Yeah, that was that. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.